Republicans, take a seat. Former acting U.S. Attorney General Matthew Whitaker has taken a position with Toronto-based CBD company Alternate Health. Now, his main role is to come in and assure that Alternate Health is providing the best quality CBDs and meeting all of the demands. Now, why we're bringing this story to you is it's important to pay attention to this because not only do you have former anti-CBD political lines being broken, but we believe that as the U.S. government begins to open up uh, their attitude towards CBD at a national or federal level, what's going to happen is major organizations for regulation are coming in. So this is a big, smart role by Alternate Health. By bringing Matthew uh, Whitaker in as outside counsel, his other job is to make sure that former companies or former associations with Alternate Health uh, haven't gone out and gone astray from the path. So to protect the company and to bring in a level of mm, outside uh, regulation that's kind of like an SRO or internally maintained is what Alternate Health is doing. This is important for companies like Bougainville Ventures, also a Canadian-based company traded on the CSE under BOG, to be able to make sure that there's other people leading the way for doing it right. Because let's face it, as CBD products begin to hit shelves, the last thing people need is to have cowboys out there utilizing ingredients and processes that go against everybody's needs, generally and specifically, from allergens all the way to new health problems. A, point, a case in point is there's the new lawsuit against vaping companies because of the new diseases now associated with vaping. So the last thing people need, especially with large companies like Johnson & Johnson, Coors taking major stakes in the CBD industry is to get in trouble. So good for you, At Attorney General Matthew Whitaker, or former, welcome to the welcome to the party. There's a lot of money to be made, and a lot of enjoyment, and a lot of health to be pushed out to all of society. For more news on this, stay tuned to Market News First, MN1.com. I'm Josh Langford. It's an honor to serve.